phonics has two terms involved. Hydro, meaning water, and phonics is toil. So people have defined hydrophonics as the process of growing the plants in water. Today, let's understand what are the advantages and disadvantages when it comes to hydrophonics. Hydrophonics is good for all type of growers. Scientists have discovered that plants are healthier, juicier and bigger in nature when this process is adopted. The advantage of hydroponics or soilless agriculture is that there is a capacity for you to grow more crops in a lesser space. Because in soil what happens is if you put two plants very close, they have root zone competition. They compete with each other or they steal each other's water or nutrition. Here what happens is like say for example you're growing 12,000 tomato plants in a in grow bags in a greenhouse. Each grow bag is being given or each plant is being, being given a certain quantity and quality of distribution of nutrition water. So there's no root zone competition there. So you are able to grow your plants in a, in a way that it looks like a plant factory. Where everyone gets the same treatment and uh, that is one of the advantages of soilless horticulture. And uh, the only things that you need to replace after a crop are you've got to buy new seeds and you just need more fertilizer or nutrition. Otherwise, it can, it, it, in the long run, it gives you those benefits. But when we compare hydrophonics to a traditional garden, a hydrophonic system is more expensive to acquire and build. There are two main, if, I, if you can call it disadvantages, they're not really disadvantages, but the thing is that you need to, like in any industry, you need to have skill. So this is not as easy as people show on the YouTube. People make you make it look very simple, very easy. It's not true. I've got students here, when you'll be talking to them, they'll tell you how easy or what their challenges are there on a day-to-day -day basis or an hourly basis, if you please. So uh, it's, it is a little expensive to get into it in the initial stages because if you have to buy a trough, you need to spend money. If you have to buy grow bags, you need to spend money. And again, grow bags can be recycled. They can be used depending on which part of the country you are depending on the temperatures of that place. Like if you're from somewhere in the hills, like in Himachal, you can use it for even seven years because the UV, is, the, the UV coating is not destroyed. So there are many things you can recycle, some things you need to buy again, but in the long run, it gives you those benefits. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this video. Do like, share and comment on this video. And for more such videos, do download the Freedom app given in the description below.